opportunity to speak to the broader issues of health care, but also federal transfers. Uh, one of the things that uh, I will be st certainly stressing that we want to reiterate today is the importance of the process and the integrity of the process in the discussion on federal transfers. We're going to discuss, in good part, health care transfers today. And this whole issue touches on the daily lives of Quebecers and of all Canadians, whether it's health care or education. It's an extremely important issue. We have always in Canada, because of our federal system of government, had a dialogue on this. An exchange of information, a dialogue, and decisions were made. Never have I witnessed a process by which the federal government, as they did only a few weeks ago here in Victoria, come in and said, this is it. No discussion, no exchange of information, nothing at all. I've, I've never seen it. In fact, what happened is that the federal government took the provinces by surprise by announcing at the end of the meeting without any forewarning that this was going to be announced. It's never happened before. And it's obviously unacceptable. The federal system of government cannot work that way. And that is, by the way, that's exactly what the Supreme Court of Canada said on the 22nd of December in their ruling on the issue of a national uh, securities regulator about our federal system of government. For example, and I'll give you an example of why that discussion is important. One of the important questions we should ask ourselves is this. What should be the federal government's percentage of support of our national health care systems? When the systems were initiated by the federal government and they drew the provinces in, they were funding us at 50 percent. That was the deal. In 2004, when the Romano report came down, Mr. Romano re recommended that the federal government fund at least at the level of 25 percent. The federal government is now at 20 percent. And Kevin Page, who's independent from the provinces and is a federal government uh, official, reports last week that the present formula is bringing Canada towards a, a, a result, an outcome, where the federal government will be funding at 10 percent. So I, I would have asked the question, where does the federal government see its role? At what level do they think they should be funding? That discussion, that dialogue should have normally happened. Secondly, we have time. We're in 2012. The accord uh, expires in 2014. And so there's time for us to have that dialogue and discussion. Third. One thing is very clear, and we draw this from experience, of course, is that we need and we must have a discussion on global transfers. I mean, it's one thing to say we'll increase funding in one envelope, but if it's cut in the other envelope and the net result is that you're getting less, well then, obviously, we would want to know that, wouldn't we, instead of having unilateral decisions. 